You are watching UNICEF Television. The Republic of South Sudan, the world's newest nation, in spite of heightened promises to offer better chances for its people, it remains one of the most risky places in the world for a child to be born. More than a third of all children under five suffer from diarrhea, 19% from pneumonia and 33% from malaria. These three preventable diseases continue to be the main killers of young children. <laughs> Despite the multiple challenges, the South Sudan Ministry of Water Resources and Irrigation, UNICEF and other stakeholders opted to adapt community-led total sanitation approach. Villages have taken in and analyzed the, the problems. They will come up with their own solution. Overnight, they will start building latrines. Overnight, if the triggering went well and the villages have got, they will start building the latrine automatically. And we are not talking about VIP latrines. We are talking about the latrine built by the villages with their own materials according to what they can afford. You see, their own initiative using their own methods. Sani ba dungwe yara chata da chewo gidurele ikini yena pa get ka bakana kono ana tona kita tona ka get ka bakono dundu kore the key challenges that have uh, hindered progress of CLTS is uh, the great dependency syndrome that people want to be supported with latrine subsidies the second one is the cultural practices which promote open defecation and the third one is the challenging uh, topographical soil formations that make construction of latrines very, very difficult. In South Sudan, access to sanitation remains one of the lowest in the world with almost 90% of the population practicing open defecation. Maybe they are not accustomed to it. Yeah. Because it is not one tribe here. There are so many tribes. Others, I think, where they came from, they don't use toilet. That is the problem. The most vulnerable people to this uh, problem was the children in particular, then followed by their mothers even, and then plus the elders. But the children, plus their mothers, especially those who are pregnant, really they were suffering a lot. Yeah. Women are very happy with CLD. They are proactive. They are ready to build and help even in building the latrine, even in digging the pits, because they are the ones who really need the latrine. The latrine is nearer to the home. She doesn't have to worry about her security. Every household must have its own pit latrine. We want to see that there is no any edification outside. Since the introduction of the community-led total sanitation in her village, Susan and her husband have been on the forefront as CLTS advocating, educating, convincing and encouraging their community to go along with the changes. Community-led total sanitation is a participatory approach that empowers the communities to collectively analyze their sanitation situation and take appropriate action. The result for the successful triggering is that communities embarked on self-made latrines to bring to an end the open defecation. They do this without depending on waiting for external assistance, otherwise referred to sanitation subsidies. The approach was introduced in South Sudan in 2011 and is currently being piloted in all the 10 states by line ministries and sanitation agencies. So far, there are now 26 open defecation free villages and 14 others waiting for verification to be done. This is Sheila Modi reporting for UNICEF Television. For more information, go to unicef.org. Unite for Children.